What is up, Raider Nation? I am back. <laughs> oh, man. Season's finally here. Um, loving it. Uh, wasn't really a good outing in this game, but it was mostly because we had a bunch of second, third, and fourth stringers out there playing. And, it, you know, but it was good just to watch my Raiders back on the field, man. It, it was really good to actually see, the, you know, a silver and black out on the field. You know, putting it and putting in work for the nation. So I was loving it, guys. It was good. So on to the game. Uh Raiders lose this game. First preseason game of the season. Um uh, and I am not sweating this shit at all. Uh this game was very uh vanilla. Uh it actually flowed more fluently, you know, it it was more uh hands on with the quarterbacks, backup quarterbacks that were running it. it seemed like it was a lot easier for some reason. I don't know why, but uh you know what, I, I'll attribute that to the fact that Todd Dowling knows his shit. So I'm looking forward to seeing how our offense do, does this year under his leadership. So uh, it should be good. But um, one thing that was very apparent, uh, we were not ready to go against first stringers in this game. Uh, the second string was who we started with, third string four string we did not come out with our a team all right guys uh that's one thing you gotta really understand about we did not come out with our a team in this game uh cardinals did this is their second preseason game for those of you that are all worried jumping up and down about this shit this is their second preseason game they got they play their starters for one quarter or even one drive if they end up scoring uh so they they you know they set up schemes better in the second game they got uh more of the starters getting warmed up in the second game they're already warmed up guys i i don't know what to tell you i mean and the funny part about it though i i, I didn't notice this though the, their first string offense was on the field our second string defense was probably you know a couple of our f first you know first stringers were maybe in, sprinkled in there but for the most part it was second string third string that was on the fucking field and we stopped them we fucking stopped them in our red zone. And we fucking had it. Held them to a field goal. But no. We had to go and fuck it up. And go get a penalty on the goddamn, you know, the field goal unit. Just couldn't hold their shit together. Uh, so, um, hey, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, they ended up scoring a touchdown right after that. Hey. Tough, tough shit. Yeah, that's that's what preseason's for, man. Now they got to clean up their act, come back, you know, the next game and try and try, you know, clean that shit up. So, whatever. Couple standouts in this game. Uh, Eddie Vanderdose. Oh, fuck that dude was moving motherfuckers, adding pressure in the pocket, just getting all up in there. Uh, other standout, Marquette Lee. Uh, uh, that's the rookie we got. We're playing that middle linebacker right now. Uh, six tackles, one assist, and uh, one fumble recovery. Uh, and Corey James. Corey James was just showing up. Kept His name kept coming up. It was crazy. Uh, and making a tackle here, causing pressure here, making the quarterback overthrow the ball, getting good on coverage, you know, making a tackle. Corey James. I think he had seven tackles, if I'm not mistaken. Balled out. It is only preseason, and uh, you know we we shouldn't really worry about you know scheme the scheme the uh, the way we you know kind of buckled at the end there and lost because to be honest with you, ninety percent of these guys that we have seen today on TV are going to be gone. They're either going to be cut or they're going to be put on our practice squad. So that that is basically what we have this first preseason game and the fourth preseason game for it is to evaluate all these other players. Uh, second and third is when we really get more into a dress rehearsal and, you know, you, you got the starters actually, you know, getting warmed up and, you know, putting in their work and uh, getting their snaps. So it, it, it's basically just live scrimmage. If you really want to call it that, that's basically what it is in this game. Uh, but same time, uh, when you do got a potential starter in there playing against second stringers, playing against third stringers, and he's getting fucking burned every single goddamn play, it's going to get you a little worried and a little pissed off. And yes, I am talking about Sean Smith. 
Um, I've given this guy the benefit of the doubt plenty of times. Uh, I have called him out a couple times too. But this is kind of getting ridiculous. I'm seeing why they dropped him the second string. Uh, to be honest with you, he shouldn't even be second string if he's going to get burned like that. That's, that's fucking ridiculous. Uh, and he's getting paid for, what, what was it, 40 million? What was it that we signed him to? What the fuck? That, nah, man, nah, if you go play like that, you better take a fucking pay cut. I mean, I hope he gets his shit together, but goddamn, that was fucking horrible, man. Three players that really stood out, uh, they're probably going to make the squad on special teams if we don't got any room for them. There's uh, Crockett. <laughs> man, that boy, that boy was putting to work. He got our only touchdown of the day. Um, and he was, you know, gaining yards left and right. He was putting in good work. Uh, Mickens, pretty good guy, man. Uh, I was, I was kind of surprised. Uh, he, he kind of popped up out of nowhere. I didn't, he wasn't even on my radar to be honest with you guys. I didn't, I didn't even know he, that this guy was on our team, but he, uh, showed up today pretty well. Made a couple good plays. Uh, Holton, that boy shoots out like a bullet, man. I was tripping out. He just like one second he was you know running sideways trying to cut uh, trying to miss a miss a tackler and then out of nowhere he just shot up in the middle and he was gone and like damn uh, the, the the man got good you know good skills uh, I'm I actually am very proud of those players today uh, they they put in work today man they, they did a good job. When it comes to the matter of second string quarterback, uh, in my personal opinion, E.J. Manuel looked way better. Uh, Carter Cook looked good, guys, but got to take into account also uh, it was against second stringers, it was against third stringers. It just seemed like he was like I don't know what it what, it, what I don't know the word to use out of his element maybe um, flustered. Uh, I do not like the way he throws the ball. I don't know what it is, guys. It's like he pulls his elbow all the way the fuck back over here. Like he's stre doing a fucking stretch or some shit. <laughs> uh, and then launches it like that. And don't get me wrong, um, the guy, he got skill, obviously. Otherwise, he wouldn't be in the NFL. Who the fuck am I to say? I've never thrown a fucking ball in my life, uh, professionally. So, mm -hmm. you know. But at the same time, guys, uh, from the... A viewer standpoint, I just see, you know, EJ Manuel moving the moving the um, ball down the field a little bit more efficient. Um, however, when Cook was in there, there was a lot of other plays that were that went down. That was basically, in my opinion, it was it was all the people around him that actually were making the plays. Uh, that, that you know, Crockett just fucking took off on that screen pass, and then there was another one where Mickens took you know took a good. Um, took a good one, and then eh, Bolton, man. Like I said, they all those players I was mentioning earlier, they all made plays. It just didn't seem like he was responsible for the efficiency on offense when it when it came down to it. And uh, it it kind of did. I kind of get did get that vibe from EJ when he was in the when he was in there. Like he was moving the ball down the field, and he just seemed more efficient at it. Uh, just my opinion, guys. Just my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. He had a couple of really bad balls in there, too. Like, air balls. Fucking over the head of the receiver. Like, goddamn, motherfucker. What were you throwing that at? But, uh... Um, <laughs> the second string, guys. Second string. You know, there were some good plays that Cook made. Uh, he made a couple good throws also. But, uh, for the most part, it just... Uh, I feel a little more comfortable with DJ. So, we'll see what happens with that. One guy that really stood out to me in this game was Carlos Joseph. Man, he was only in there for, for I think, uh, until they took out their first stringers. And uh, he, he went in there with a lot of second stringers and third stringers. But, man, did he show up. Uh, <laughs> dude, there was this one play. This one fucking play where I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> This particular play was against a running back that dashed us for, for like a good six, seven yards right before this play. Uh, David Johnson. This guy is no joke, guys. He's a top five running back. Uh, knows how to put his shoulder down and lay motherfuckers out. Uh, really um, good runner. Knows how to cut out of the way just in the nick of time. Uh, I got to give props to Arizona on this on this running back they got. He's really good. Um, 
Carl Joseph lit him the fuck up. Like, <laughs> he lit him up. Came from the secondary like a fucking bat out of hell. Just dashed right at him. And boom. Laid the wood. It was awesome. I was like, whoa, shit. And uh, it was pre pretty crazy, man. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this guy and his progression into his second year. Uh, I'm really excited to see that, man. Uh, our secondary didn't do that good, but uh, that was probably one of my favorite plays of the game. Uh, with that said, guys, uh, no, it was it was. What can I say? It's preseason, guys. We'll 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 see what happens in the next few games. Uh, Car's probably gonna start in the next game, just a couple series before you know we put back in EJ and Cook. So we'll, we'll see where he's at. Uh, hopefully we get a really good outing from our um, defense in this next one. Uh, see what see what happens, man. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it. A uh, little quick video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Season's back, baby. Go Raiders.